decades ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. in Beijing, in Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, André Pachon is the man who brought real French cuisine to Japan. For over 30 years, he has led the French chef's community, training many young chefs. His apprentices have made appearances proving the range of their skills. There is a Japanese chef who is deemed the right-hand man running Pachon's restaurant. To Pachon's traditional recipes, he adds his own inspirations. He is young and energetic, very speedy, and has lots of ideas. He's the number one man I depend on at my restaurant. A chef fully endorsed by the great Pachon himself. We cannot miss out on this. Today's challenger, the right-hand man of Pachon, master chef of Pachon restaurant, Yasuhiko Habuchi. He started his career at age 18. After some years of apprenticeship, he took off for France, his culinary homeland. Later, his dreams came true, working side by side in the kitchen with Joël Robuchon. Habuchi's talents started to bloom. Watching him, even Robuchon himself said, no problem, he's a natural. At 28, he returned to Japan. Pachan did not think twice about letting him head his own kitchen. I want my guests to be totally satisfied with a clear idea of what they've enjoyed. That's what I always tell myself. His creations are a blend of traditional and modern ideas. Native French people just cannot resist the taste of their homeland. So now, Habuchi, show us your inspirations and make André Pachon proud. There is just no way I can lose this.
30年前に来日して以来日本のフレンチシェフを育て上げてきたアンドレ・パッションそのフランス料理界の親父が最も信頼を寄せている若手を送り込んでまいりましたさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください大観山レストランパッション料理長羽渕康彦 A dynamic duo makes their way into Kitchen Stadium, Master Andre Pachon himself, who's given rise to many renowned French chefs in Japan, and his protege right now, his number one young man. With the throng of Pachon disciples looking on from the royal box, we will see daring French cuisine. Creativity and speed. Yes. Mm. I've gone through many tough situations. I just can't see myself losing. Thanks. Thanks. Now, the three Iron Chefs ascending into Kitchen Stadium. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai and Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto. Chefs, young and old around the world, are inspired by their culinary creations. French no Dai Senpai mo imasu ga. Sa, dare to tatakai masu ka? Morimoto san, please. All right, it's Morimoto chosen by the challenger. The master chef at Nobu, the famous Japanese restaurant in New York, Morimoto's regarded as the leader of Neo Japanese, boldly breaking traditions in Japanese cuisine. This will be the first time challenged by a French chef, and he faces additional pressure, having dropped his last battle, his first loss as Iron Chef. Can he get back on the winning track against this young and rising star? France Jin ga, kono jiki motto mo. 楽しみにしているあの野菜を旬が終わる前に食べておこうと思いましたフランスに夏を告げる白と緑それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマはアスパラガス Taking on the challenge of Yasuhiko Habuchi, a young and ambitious French chef, Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto has his hands full against the Pachon protégé. And the theme ingredient today, asparagus. Does it give the challenger an edge? <laughs> Opening gong sounds, they bow to each other, and Morimoto dashes up to the ingredient stand, and civility ends as he's grabbing all the asparagus he can. Hattori, green and white asparagus, what's the difference? Basically, the difference is whether or not you cover it up with dirt. Uh, it's as simple as that. <laughs> right. The ones covered with soil will stop the photosynthesis process and turn white. Okay. Now, with the white ones, there are fat ones and thin ones. And uh -huh. the fat ones are female stems, and the thin ones are male. And they're from the same root, but one grows bigger than the other. All it's right. kind of like bees, uh, the queen bee getting really large, as you know. Okay. Kind of sitting back watching the drones. All right, sort of like these asparagus right here. Yeah, look at the size of those. And you could say like a queen bee. Right, it takes all the nutrition from the other side. You could describe them as a queen asparagus if you were so inclined. Exactly. All right, now let's take care of the business of introducing our guests today. They'll also be on the tasting panel. Next to me, actress Miwako Fujitani. Thanks for coming Hi, in. Hi, pleasure to be here. So tell us, you like asparagus? Yes, very much. And that difference between the green and white asparagus, did you know that? Um, <laughs> actually, before I heard that, I thought if you put them into cans, it would make them white. <laughs> I guess well, that sounds silly. Don't worry, you aren't the only one. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> and we also have with us today actor Hideki Takahashi. Pleasure to be here. Have you watched any of uh, Morimoto's previous films? Yes, I've seen him. And he'd be good in one of your samurai dramas? A bad guy? He'd make a great bad guy. All right, we think so too. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Fukutan! Yeah, go ahead, Oka. Here on the floor, the Iron Chef is really pumped up, and he made that mad dash because he wanted to grab all the female stems, the really That's big ones, style. and he did just that. He said, I'm not going to be a Mr. Nice Guy today. The match begins with these. He grabbed <laughs> all of them? He got them all to himself. <laughs> well, that's one strategy. Hog the good asparagus, and you, you can't cook what you can't get a hold of. Oh, check this out. Fukutan! Yes. The challenger, Chef Habuchi, has sneaked over to the 
Iron Chef side and stolen back some of the large white asparagus. <laughs> right. Cloak and dagger from both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Iron Chef. Uh, don't blame him. We're not going to file any charges here. Okay, Morimoto Noah's asparagus got ripped off. Anyway, look at this. Speared through the bacon. Oh, okay. He's being rather bold here. That from the Iron Chef. And this on the challenger side, is this, this is milk? It's not looking Japanese at all. What is this? I think it's milk, yeah. The challenger, Yasuhiko Habuchi, sits at the right hand of Andre Pachon, the don of French cuisine in Japan. Atori, could you fill us in a little bit more about Andre Pachon? Sure. He's actually been living in Japan for over 30 years, and his apprentices are all over the place, mm -hmm. top restaurants in Japan. Actually, Chef Mitani is one of them, perhaps you know. Right. And also Ms. Kondo, who is a, a good chef and confectionery. Also, uh, Chef Azuma. Right there, yes. Uh, chef Azuma, he's got a good reputation in the French cuisine community. Another Pachon apprentice. Yeah, the godfather of the top chefs in uh, French chefs, that is, in Japan. Right? Definitely. Fukuizan? Yes. Speaking with Andre Pachon in the Royal Box, he says Habuchi's dishes always have something new. He is energetic and full of new ideas, and he calls Ooh. that the French cuisine wow. of the new generation, and he speaks very highly of him. Oh, wow, look at this. This man, he's really daring, nice. actually. Goodness, <laughs> power <laughs> chopping. He's plugged in. We got talking speed and energy here. With That's this an guy. understatement. He's got speed and energy to burn. <laughs> look at him go. I don't want to try that. <laughs> right from the get go, he's fired up. Hey, okay, we got some eggs here. Iron Chef has eggs? Hold it. What? What is that device? I've never seen this before. Yeah, actually, what you do is you flip the head, and it cracks the top of the egg in a circle. Uh -huh. Can you pick those up anywhere? Yeah, you can. It's really handy. Quite Ooh, a convenient little neat. item. Here's a slow-mo replay here. Okay, now watch him flip the top handle. There you go. Huh. Whoa. The egg I'm is get cracked one. open, a circular <laughs> shape on top. <laughs> I <Wow>. like it. <laughs> All right, now, uh, what's he going to do with these here? Mm. Gently boiled, but he's, they're already opened up. Yeah, he's being real careful with the temperature there, you can see. So he could be making what we call hot spring boiled eggs. Huh. They use about uh, 150 degree water, and it'll turn out perfect. Wow. I'm going to try this at home. Hey, <laughs> look at this now on the challenger side. Okay, these are Omar lobsters, the ones he was chopping before. Power chopping. Yeah, you know. exactly. Fukuizan. <laughs> yes. I asked the challenger how he's planning to prepare the asparagus from France, and he said French people like the subtle bitterness in the asparagus. Mm. It matches perfectly with the sweetness of eggs and butter. That's right. The French mm. chefs try to use that bitterness as an accent. Okay, now, what's this? Uh, green tea. Green tea? Yeah. Oh. What's the white stuff, then? Fukuizan. Oh, to go. This is green tea. Tea mixed Maybe with salt. salt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, you're okay. right. Okay. Green okay. tea and salt. Maybe a grill then. A, a green tea and salt Daddy. crust to be applied for something to be grilled. Could that be? That's probably it. Yeah. To add aroma. All right. Now over here, the lobster. Fujitani, tell us, uh, how do you like your lobster cooked? Uh, I'll take them just as they are. <laughs> uh, as is. Yeah, that's good <laughs> too. Good. <laughs> yes. Uh, just a pinch of salt would be good. Mm -hmm. And now. The big asparagus, the white asparagus, is being placed on top. Okay, on top of the Omar lobsters. Now these are the female stems. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I okay. asked the challenger about his stealing back the female white stems from the Iron Chef, and he said, "Well, obviously they're important. I need them too. The Iron Chef needs to grow up and learn how to share and play well with the other chefs." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So what's this now then? What is he doing? This is the lobster that's not cooked yet going in. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Also with some herbs added. So he's going to put them in the oven then. Oh, this is really a wild dish. What's the idea here? The lobsters at the bottom are already cooked. Well, he cooked them a little before putting them into the oven for better results because he wanted some of the top stuff grilled. And at the end, the white asparagus will turn out real juicy. Infused with lobster flavor. Looks good, Takashi-san? No doubt about that. We don't have much chance to try fresh white asparagus. Right. The harvest season is actually very short, lost. only two or three weeks. That's really? it? Yeah. Okay, now the white and green. And what's the Iron Chef up to? here. Fukuizan? Yes. The Iron Chef has green tea leaves, salt, and egg whites here. Now, I asked why he's using green tea, and he said in Japan it's the season now for fresh green tea leaves, and I wanted to take advantage of that. Very pleasant aroma, fresh green tea Ooh, leaves. Japanese, yeah. Let's hope it matches well with the raw aroma of the asparagus, though. But, okay, look at the challenger here. Now, this is very orthodox mm. with the bacon. Mm -hmm. It tastes great, though, sautéed. Mmm. Yes. This is the only asparagus dish I know. Takahashi, you and I both, we know, <laughs> we know that's a winning combo. All right, asparagus and bacon. You see that a lot in the eating, drinking places. Yeah. Yes. Andre Pachon had some more comments about Chef Habuchi, and he says, I envy his youth. The way he's moving with confidence is really impressive, and he's creating some awesome dishes, and I want some of them in my restaurant. All right, the teacher picking up something from the student, his top chef. 
All right, Iron Chef side, some Brussels sprouts. Cabbage. Too, there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Cuisson? Yes. Yes, in this pot, the Iron Chef has cabbage and Brussels sprouts stewing in a bonito broth. Bonito broth, you say? Yes, along with some onions. Okay, onions in it too. So, vegetables and stock. Soup. What are we looking at? Well, soup's got to yeah? be a soup, yeah. Okay, and uh, he's got. What is this now? It's not the pot with the vegetables we were just looking at. Okay, that one is still the bacon, simmering. Maybe. What is this one here? He's, yeah. Uh, in yes. Okay, yeah, it's a pressure cooker. Fukuisan. Yes. Yes, here in this pressure cooker that was just opened, the Iron Chef had several ingredients, including mm -hmm. sake, water, consomme cubes, bacon, and white asparagus. But he's now taken the asparagus and the bacon out of the pressure mm. cooker and putting them into the bonito broth that was prepared earlier. Oh, okay, wow. I see. Okay. He's What's... trying to get rid of the excess salt from those items. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, now back to Challenger Habuchi. Something he's been deep frying, he's now removing from the wok. Is okay. this a shredded asparagus? This one's going to be sprinkled on top of something. I thought grilling was the only way to do asparagus. Right, frying mm. is quite rare. Oh. Grilling is usually the MO. Or boil them and eat them with mayonnaise. Mm. Sure, right. that's quite oh, a popular right. I side about dish. That. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. in France, the most popular way to have them is with hollandaise sauce, the sauce made from that's the egg right. yolk. That's right, yes. Yeah. Right, we'd expect him to prepare that dish today, that Squeeze classic on. French one. Yes. I have here some comments from Chef Ozma in the Royal Box. He says, to win against an Iron Chef, you have to believe in yourself as well as your mm -hmm. taste, your style, yes. your technique. And he also added, I want Habuchi to win. Okay, Ooh. words of encouragement mm. from Habuchi's supporters who are up in the Royal Box today. Members of the extended Pachon cooking family watching their man already getting a workout in this asparagus battle. Okay, what is the Iron Chef using here? Fukuisan. Yes. This is a fish called a greenling. Greenling. Okay, greenling. Yeah, it. it's kind of hard to tell from here. Salt and pepper sprinkled on. Yeah, I suppose he's going to wrap them with something. Okay, listen, on the challenger side here, we missed it, but he poured uh -huh. wine into this. Okay, we were wrong now. This is not really expected. Yes, right up to now, he was preparing this uh, asparagus bacon dish, the usual manner, but it has taken a definite turn, Takahashi-san. Yes, I didn't expect this. And Fujitani-san, what about this dish? Do you think you could make this one at home? Is it this asparagus? and bacon one? Uh, I don't know if I can cook it, but I can eat it. Probably 300 stocks, if you what? ask me. 300? Okay, <laughs> let's take a bet. <laughs> Asparagus, 300, please. I'm informed we had about 350 to begin with here in the kitchen stadium, so we'll get you a little bit later on. All right, now, once again on the challenger side. Okay, so what's what? this? Looks yeah. good. Fukuisan. Yes. Yes, in these little containers, he has blended together milk, sugar, egg yolks, and gelatin. And then he's added a blend of green asparagus and milk. And on top of that, he's added fresh cream. And now it's all blended together. Oh, I, I okay. see it, but what do you call it? I think maybe it's a Bavarian cream. Bavarian cream, Fujitani san. Sounds yeah, like something right up your spot. alley. It yeah. is a spot. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, now back to the Iron Chef. Deep frying. Now, is this one the greenling? I'm Fukuisan? not sure. Yes. He's frying foie gras here. Okay. Not the green Why? Yeah. Why is he frying it? Huh. He's probably going to wrap them together. And not add anything to this? No, not that I know of, no. So he's backed up and dumped the foie gras into the oil. Boy, this will really blow up your diet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're supposed to suspend our calorie count for the Iron Chef. Right. Agreed? <laughs> okay. Now, the greenling in front of the Iron Chef. Okay, he's wrapping this with herbs. Hmm. And mm -hmm. yes, the fried foie gras is going into the wrap, too. I wonder what this will taste like. It looks like a belt wrapped around somebody's waist. Having a wrap <laughs> session. Fukuisan. Yes. Here he's wrapping asparagus, foie gras, and Japanese water pepper leaves with the greenling. Huh? Uh, okay, water, water pepper, pepper leaves. It's a kind of herb. I, I think oh. I've heard of it before, but I've never seen it. Yeah, he's trying to add aroma of the herbs But here, isn't maybe. this maybe a bit too strong, a flavor overload? Water Won't pepper it. leaves and... Won't it kill the taste of the fish? Maybe. I'm not sure. All right, now the challenger's assistant has the ice cream maker in action. Uh, okay, ice cream. Here we ice go. Ice cream. Hmm. Fukuisan? Yes. This ice cream yeah. contains pureed white asparagus, milk, and, of course, sugar. All right, make it 32 flavors. White asparagus <laughs> ice cream. And the Iron Chef here is now... Is he smoking these asparagus? Yeah, he's using sugar and cherry wood chips to smoke this. All hmm. right, smoking up a storm. And now covers it up. As we near the halfway point, more asparagus and bacon put on by the challenger, French chef Yasuhiko Habuchi. 30 minutes have elapsed. 30 minutes gone now. Habuchi, a man of Pachon in more than one sense today, schooled by Andre Pachon against Iron Chef Japanese Masahara Morimoto. The theme ingredient, asparagus, some of which you're looking at, wrapped with foie gras, herbs, and fish being sautéed by the Iron Chef. 
And now from the challenger, look, the lobster Ooh. creation is oh, out of the oven. Mm. Squeeze on. Oh. Yes. I asked the challenger about this item that he just pulled from the oven. And remember, he had cooked lobster on the bottom right. and raw lobster mm -hmm. on the top. Well, he says that the lobster on the bottom is for adding aroma to the asparagus. <laughs> and while the uh, layer on the top is for flavor. And the reason that he wrapped the asparagus with gauze was to prevent the lobster shells from sticking to the asparagus. Very intricate work. Yeah. Just okay. for the asparagus. Wow. This could be amazing. The juice from the lobster will add flavor to the asparagus, mm. sort of steamed amongst the lobsters. Mmm, mm. that mm. makes my mouth water. Wow. Mine too. <laughs> the Omar lobster's juice will actually seep into the asparagus. Oh, he's on. Yeah. Yes. I just spoke with Andre Pachon again in the Royal Box, and he says Habuchi is doing very well so far, and he hopes that he can keep up the good work. He mm. also s says that he thinks that he can win if he keeps up this pace, and as he watched, he had a big smile on his face. <laughs> oh yes, Habuchi's <laughs> gonna be in this battle all the way, and Pachon can take pride in his right-hand man. All right, the Iron Chef side, the soft or barely boiled eggs How here. is he going to finish these? Hmm. I think this is for dipping asparagus. Yeah. All right. Cuisson? Yes. I asked the Iron Chef how these boiled eggs will be served, and he said it's a secret. I don't want to tell you everything. This is going to be another original recipe. It'll be fun, so just <laughs> wait and see. Right. <laughs> he has the <laughs> right to remain down. silent. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, look at this. I think this is for dipping the tips of the asparagus before eating. Hattori, you are on a roll today. You call it right again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> well, hold on, still have a ways to go. Yeah, this is looking good. Mm, yeah. And what is this? It looks like a, a barbecued wiener coming off the grill. This oh. is asparagus. <laughs> the white asparagus turned brown. Okay, I get it, because of the sugar. It's like caramel on the surface, that's oh, why. Oh, really? Oh, right, oh, right, oh, wow. huh? uh -huh. Unbelievable. And what about this asparagus? Will it have a, a salty taste? Actually, no, I don't think so. Just a smoked flavor here? Yeah, I just hope he didn't overdo it on the sweetness. All right, and the Iron Chef off that dish for now and moving over to the mixing bowl. And to the mixing bowl, what, it, what is it in there? Fukuizan? Yes. This is cream cheese with Japanese water pepper leaves. All right, pepper leaves too, got it. Okay, this is also a dip probably with that dish. Really? Yeah. Another dip for the tasters to try out, perhaps. You know, you are on a roll. You're in the zone, Hattori. <laughs> Two choices, and that fills that plate up, and it looks complete now. It's done? I think so, yeah. All right, and now let's check out the challenger, move over to Habuchi's side. Fukuisan? Yes. Here in this dish, the challenger has fried green asparagus together with crispy bacon, and on top of that, he has boiled asparagus wrapped with bacon, which was sauteed, wow. and he also has asparagus, huh. which was stewed in the red wine sauce. All of that together, so elaborate. Oh, hey, look at the Iron Chef. <laughs> <laughs> That's cream. Into the <laughs> eggs? Uh, what gives here? I That's... have no idea what this guy's doing. Sorry, gang. <laughs> That's not Japanese at all. Fukuisan. Yes. What the Iron Chef is squeezing into these cups is a mix of fresh cream, lemon juice, and salt all whipped together. All right, now like a French-style creation okay. to into the barely boiled eggs and less than 15 minutes left. Not just the eggs. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, and caviar. Here we go. Mm. Oh, one can per person. <laughs> <laughs> one can a person. What Whoa, generosity do I today. Feel lucky today. <laughs> you can take some home. Cuisine? <laughs> yes. Yes, the Iron Chef says, ah, what the heck? It's just a small can anyway, so why not? This is just to add a little saltiness to the dish, and if there's some left over, go ahead and take it home and enjoy it there. Oh, my, a whole can per person. I'm going to elbow my way into the tasting today, for sure. <laughs> okay, hey, look at the challenger side. They're having a tough time getting out of the machine. The ice cream. Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. Okay, the white asparagus ice cream, and it, it looks just like your basic vanilla as Habuchi grabs a bottle of wine and his assistant, they're scraping the ice cream away. Okay, now look at the Iron Chef. This is a marinated item. Mm -hmm. Is this the sweet fish? It looks like it. Yeah, but it's tiny, so baby, tiny. Baby sweet fish, maybe. Hmm. Fukuizan? Yes. Yes, these are baby sweet fish. Okay, okay there got we go. that one. And Hattori, this is a, is a standard Japanese dish, right? Right, yeah, you're right. They, uh, it's a marinated item with red chili and scallions, but here he has used asparagus instead of scallions. Okay, so mixing and matching, substitution. See, look at that, they look like scallions, right? Mm -hmm. And Takashi-san, this dish totally Japanese in appearance. Yes, no trace of Western Europe. Iron Chef Japanese Morimoto. <laughs> His asparagus is like a chameleon. Chameleon? Another statement there to throw me off my horse? No, I just meant they change colors all the time. <laughs> okay, a lot of colors, yeah? All right, I'll buy that. Hey, check this out now. Asparagus shavings? We're seeing so many different approaches to preparing asparagus today. Yes, I am amazed here. 
And look at this approach. Okay, this from is the interesting. Iron Chef. Hmm, sort of a an Italian serving there, an Italian dish. Yeah, now this is the Challenger. So this is like Bavarian cream. The Bavarian cream, asparagus flavored? That's the only thing I can even think resembles it. Okay, yeah. that'll do it. Describes it pretty accurately. Kind of goes beyond definition with this guy. <laughs> All right. Okay, if we can go back to the Iron Chef again, you see that? Yes. Okay, now I thought he was going to serve that as we is. We all did. Yeah, but he's added the fish wrapping on top. Hmm, but no. Iron Chef Morimoto. Now let's swing back to the Challenger. Okay, the ice cream has been added on top. Yes, he's put the white asparagus ice cream on top of the green asparagus flavored Bavarian cream. Green and white. Together in the fridge for sure it's dessert. Yeah, that's a definite. Okay, and the Iron Chef getting... Ice. For what? Maybe as a serving plate to hold something cold? Hmm. Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah, the plates look really pretty. <laughs> Fujitani-san, I think he's trying to impress you, you know, win you over. <laughs> All right, now, Morimoto, this green mixture. Okay, this looks like green tea powder. Huh. Fukuzan? Yes. Yes, he has two types of flavoring Five for a crushed ice go. dessert here. One contains green asparagus as a base. The other is boiled white asparagus with sugar and condensed milk blended together. So, two types. Okay, so is this what I think it is? Must be flavored ice shavings for dessert, right? Yeah. What do we call it? I don't know. <laughs> Something cream, maybe. And as you can see, syrup's been poured on. Right, yeah. An asparagus flavor. Well, this will be another first from the Iron Chef. Yes. I asked Chef Morimoto how he got the idea for this dessert, and he said I was experimenting around, and I remembered the green and white flavored crushed ice that I enjoyed as I was a kid, mm -hmm. and it just clicked. And this should even things out against the Challenger's white and green ice cream. All right. It's almost like an asparagus flavored snow cone. They didn't have those, though, when I was a kid. Yeah. One more thing. I mentioned to the Challenger that the dishes that he's creating all have a touch of that new French cuisine. And he said, well, the red wine stew is a classic dish mm. that I learned from my mentor, so I'm also employing his classic techniques. All right, okay. thanks, Ota Habuchi, paying homage to his mentor, Pashon, his sensei, that's Japanese for teacher. He's been closely watching his star pupil all the way. Will they be smiling when they leave the stadium today? That's the question. Fukuzan? Yes. Andre Pashon in the Royal Box seeing Chef Habuchi's creations today said, no problem, he's got it in the bag. All right, the confidence <laughs> oozing from the dawn of French One cuisine in Japan and less than a minute left now. Okay, look at the Iron Chef here. Wow. The stewed block of bacon on the cutting board and the white asparagus speared through that one. Yeah. Looks excellent. Mmm, looks really good. Good. All right, now back to the pot to absorb more flavor. Under 40 seconds left. It looks like bones are sticking out of the bacon. Right, yeah. Oh. Still boiling. And the Iron Chef, go. 30 seconds left. He's handled these final countdowns before. Hearing the 30 second mark picks up the pace, adding some finishing touches, and the bacon creation Ooh. coming out of the pot with the asparagus <laughs> and the other vegetables. Steaming, so wow. appetizing. That looks great. 15 seconds. 15 to seconds go. Japanese versus French cuisine in this incredible asparagus battle. Several extraordinary dishes today and so many inventive ways of dealing Five with seconds. asparagus. The challenger Three, looks like he's finished. Two, the Iron Chef's got to stop now. That's it. The cooking's done. The asparagus battle is over. A grueling hour. Yes. And how about the dishes you yes. prepared? They're good. And I enjoyed what I was doing. Well, that's good. Yes. Now, your teacher, Andre Pachon, smells yes. a victory here. Oh, yes. Are you that confident? I win. Your thoughts? Well, I do use asparagus daily, but not as a main course. Plus, I have to add my own originality. It wasn't easy. It was your first time to battle a French chef, uh -huh. right? Did you change your tactics? Not really. I do sometimes work with uh, top French chefs in New York, and I don't really care who I'm going against. I just want to be satisfied with what I do, what I create. And you are satisfied today? Yes. Challenger Habuchi is offering six dishes. First, white asparagus hollandaise sauce an asparagus adventure along the royal road of French cuisine, a classic dish. Second, asparagus and bacon strips. Three different approaches to this common dish are incorporated. The end result is a perfect harmony between asparagus and bacon. Third is asparagus pasta. Green asparagus skin shavings are served like pasta in an oyster sauce, which accentuates the dish. 
Asparagus grilled in lobster. Six asparagus stalks grilled in 30 Omar lobsters. But it's an asparagus only dish, the ultimate, costing well over $1,000 a serving. Fifth is asparagus cocktail. Asparagus added to a white wine and champagne sparkler, creating a sophisticated and pleasing change in taste. And last, asparagus dessert. On top of the green asparagus Bavarian cream is white asparagus ice cream, both with a light sweet taste. The Iron Chef also has six dishes to counter. First, smoked asparagus stick salad. Two types of asparagus are smoked with cherry wood chips. Tasters have two choices of dip, boiled egg fresh cream sauce and cream cheese with pepper leaves, plus a whole can of caviar. It'll be a totally new experience. Second is asparagus and grilled fish rolls. The asparagus is the mediator, successfully tying the foie gras and greenling fish. Olive oil and rice vinegar make this a uniquely refined course. Marinated asparagus and sweet fish, a new but pure Japanese way of approaching asparagus. The plum paste accentuates the entire presentation. Fourth is Japanese style asparagus stew. Consomme and bonito broth are mixed together for the stew. White asparagus stalks are speared through chunks of bacon. The fat of the bacon is what highlights the mild taste of asparagus. Fifth is asparagus in green tea and rock salt. Fresh green tea leaves are used to add a Japanese flavor. We await the taster's reaction to this dish. Last is sweet bean sorbet. Asparagus is added into the ice shavings, a fine example of the Iron Chef's creativity and a perfect way to end the course. Andre Pachon leads his top man, today's challenger, Yasuhiko Habuchi, into Kitchen Stadium. For 30 years, Pachon's been the dawn of French cuisine in Japan. The challenger chooses to make his mark against Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto. Chairman Kaga unveils today's theme ingredient, asparagus. 60 minutes later, Habuchi proudly presents six dishes to the panel. The Iron Chef meets the challenge with six dishes of his own. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Miwako Fujitani, actor Hideki Takahashi, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes from Challenger Habuchi. I tried to use classic techniques while adding my own ideas, my originality. I didn't know asparagus had a crunchy texture. We're used to eating them out of cans. This is a first for me. Mmm, I really wish I had something like this in my lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's delicious, really. <laughs> You've boiled it just right. The texture is nice. It's just right, I think. And the flavor is quite nice. I think it's very good. Asparagus and bacon is common, so I challenge myself, giving it a professional touch, adding variety. The three are completely different. This is very entertaining. Thank you. I like this a lot. Really? This is not an amateur's work. A truly professional job. A triple asparagus and bacon. I would call it very good. Now the challenger removes just the asparagus from the expensive Omar lobsters. In the oven while grilling, the asparagus stalks are steamed among the lobsters. Right. Right, yes. Yes, sir. Well, talk about luxurious. You used that many lobsters just to add aroma? I just can't resist. I want to eat the guys who added the aroma. <laughs> <laughs> this was really good. A little tough, <laughs> but it was really good, yeah. The bottom one is green asparagus Bavarian cream, and the white one is white asparagus sorbet. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm in heaven. I'm on the clouds, looking down, drifting along. 
<laughs> Looking at everybody. <laughs> What am I saying? Am I drunk? <laughs> Maybe too much wine. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. You have opened my eyes to many different flavors I've never tasted before. I thoroughly enjoyed them. And now the dishes of Iron Chef Morimoto. I would like you to dip them into the mayonnaise. And this one, the cream cheese and pepper leaf buds. You have to use caviar to add saltiness to the to the dish. This is not something for everyone. Quite honestly speaking, you're offending our taste buds. When I tried it, I thought it was just me. <laughs> it was so sour. <laughs> but then, after the sour one, I tried the other one, and the boiled one was good. Yeah, I liked it better. <laughs> Yes, greenling. And the red sauce is made from an herb called water water pepper. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to trick us. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you, you like this? Yeah, yeah. Really? This isn't bad. But uh, I can't help but feel that there are too many flavors to this. I catered to people in New York. It's a melting pot there. I have to make... I have to use many flavors, mixed flavors, harmonized. It's really exciting to have a flavor like this added to Japanese cuisine. Thank you. I think this has a really nice taste. The Iron Chef prepares servings of the Japanese-style stew. The salty flavor of the bacon and the Japanese broth should uh, go well together. I'm enjoying asparagus. Mmm, that's my first reaction to this. It's very nice. The white asparagus is better, it's more flavorful. The saltiness is just right to let me enjoy the asparagus. It gets better and better as I eat it. It would be too salty with the skin, so may I ask you to take off the skin? Take off the skin before eating, please. Well, this is a great idea, but it's not something to serve. With the salt, it's just unbearable. <laughs> but after shaking it off, it's good. It's like a beautiful woman coming out of the dark. The aroma of the green tea matches quite well. Unexpected. I enjoyed this. This was very good. But I really struggled to take the salt off. This is why I gave you a few salty dishes. I wanted to accentuate the sweetness of this dish. This is great. <laughs> That's all I've been saying. <laughs> oh, I can definitely live with this. <laughs> very, very good. Out of both chefs' hands now, the judges will decide who gets the win. フレンチの料理人を迎えた和の鉄人。本格的な王道フレンチに森本の世界料理は通用するのか。それでは発表します。Andre Pachon, the don of French cuisine in Japan, sent his top hit man into Kitchen Stadium. The job for Yasuhiko Habuchi, simple. Rub out the iron chef. Armed with a supply of high-powered asparagus dishes, the French cuisine challenger indeed has Iron Chef Morimoto in his sights. Is he on target, or does the Iron Chef take him down first? It's the Iron Chef. Morimoto's the one to survive, and that's what it was in this battle, survival. With an ingredient favorable for French cuisine, he makes it through and wins the first time facing off against a French chef and the result acknowledged by the opposition. And for Morimoto, what a relief. Okay, let's check the scoring out of a possible 20. Kurimoto, 17-16, the challenger. Fujitani, 19-17, Iron Chef. Takahashi, 18-17, Iron Chef. Hosoki, 17-15, Iron Chef. Three to one, Morimoto wins it. Visually unsettling for some, but his ability to finish off the flavors of his global neo-Japanese creations comes through for him again. Masaharu Morimoto, still the man.